Okay, let's talk about something that all algebra students absolutely must know. And uh, we're going to talk about that by looking at this problem right here. And we're going to do some more problems as well. But I want you to factor this. Okay, so this is factorable. Put your answer into the comment section if you know how to factor this. And uh, also, I'm curious, how many out there are, are having a difficult time with factoring Okay, in algebra? Uh, it's not uncommon uh, for students to uh, have a tough time with factoring. There's a lot you need to learn with factoring. But if you want to pass algebra, you've got to be very, very good at factoring. So put your uh, comments in, uh, in about factoring. And uh, if you're having difficulty with it, I'll give you some suggestions here in just one second. But we're going to be focusing in specifically on this type of situation. Um, again, factoring is a big topic in algebra. So again, I'm going to talk um, more about factoring here in a second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school uh, math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Now, if you are having a difficult time in factoring or in math, maybe you don't think you're good in math. Uh, I'm telling you right now, there is no such thing as a bad math student. If you have the desire, okay, and, uh, and you're willing to work hard, uh, uh, to be successful in math, then what you need is the right instruction. So I've been teaching math for decades, and I really don't like to think of myself as teaching math as more of it as uh, explaining it in a super easy and understandable way. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out in your math courses. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, so I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out uh, our homeschool math courses where we just uh, uh, voted number one uh, in the middle school and high school uh, math categories uh, from a big national publication. So we're pretty excited about that. We're going to be uh, sharing more news about that nice uh, tribute in um, the weeks to come. And if you don't have any math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the, descript in the description of this video as well. But I'm here to tell you that uh, if you want to have great grades in math, you, you have to learn how to take great math notes. So start improving your notes and everything will start getting better. All right, so let's uh, get into this problem. Again, if you know how to uh, factor this, uh, just put your answer into the comment section, but um, let's get going here. Okay, so what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about this right here. So what is this? Well, this is something squared, and this is something else squared, and this little subtraction thing here is called the uh, difference. So this, this is the difference of something squared and something else squared. Well, we call this the difference of two squares, okay? Difference of two squares. You need to know this, and this is what we call a special factoring rule, okay? Now, I told you I was going to uh, talk about uh, factoring here. I'm going to actually write the rule down here in a second, but let's just quickly, quickly do a, uh, a quick review on the things you're going to need to know in factoring. So when you start learning factoring, uh, you're going to here's kind of the world of factoring real quick, okay? So then I think this would be a good little um, way just to organize what skills you need to know. So when you first start off with factoring, you're going to need to know how to factor the greatest common factor. Okay, that's the first thing that you typically learn. And then you kind of move into uh, how to factor trinomials, right? So a trinomial is something like this, 2x squared minus 7x plus 1. So now I don't know if this can be factored, but this is a quadratic trinomial. So there's two cases uh, here. There's a case one and there's a case two. So you really have to uh, learn how to factor quadratic trinomials. So the first is you start off with the greatest common factor. Then you get into uh, quadratic trinomials. And then you break into special uh, factoring rules. Okay, And the difference of two squares is a special factoring rule. And then after that, then you get into more advanced uh, things like group factoring, et cetera. So factoring, there's a lot to learn. And what we're focusing in right here is uh, one of the special factoring rules that you need to know. So this is the difference of two squares. And let me go ahead and write this out. And then we'll go ahead and practice this with a couple basic problems. So a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. There you go. This is the difference of two squares. 
you need to know how to do this. Okay, so this works both ways. But I want to factor through uh, two things. Okay, if I have a square minus another square, uh, the factors will be this. And then you also have this product. If I see two things that have this pattern, okay, I'm multiplying them together, the answer will be this. So this kind of goes both ways. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to factor this here in just one second. But uh, let's go ahead and first uh, do some basic problems with uh, the difference of two squares. So let's just go ahead and actually let me go down here and uh, I'll write the rule. So we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So let's really break it down nice and easy with this first uh, problem. So this is something squared. This is x squared. Okay. So if this is a squared, this this right this part right here would represent the a squared. So what we want is a, not a squared. So what you want to do is just take the square root of x squared. Okay, so you don't want uh, a squared, you want a. So the square root of x squared is x, okay? Now here I have 9, that represents our b squared. I don't want b squared for my uh, uh, factors over here, I want b. So let's take the square root, okay, let's do this. That's the uh, square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 9, the principal square root of 9 would be 3, okay? So... This right here, actually, this will be our A, this would be our B, okay? This is A squared and this is B squared, right? So now let's go ahead and put this together. So uh, again, this is going to follow the pattern A plus B. So this would be, this is like our A and this is like our B. So this would be X plus 3. I can write that a little bit neater than that. X plus 3 times X minus 3, okay? So A plus b times a minus b. And you could even write a minus b times a plus b, but it's typically a plus b times a minus b, but both would be uh, 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 those factors, whether x minus 3 times x plus 3, it's, it's equivalent, but it's typically a plus b times a minus b. That's the way most people remember the uh, formula. Okay, so there you go. So x squared minus 9, if I factor that, okay, looking at that, I'm like, how do I factor that? Well, you have to recognize that this is the difference of two squares, and here are the factors. Okay, so if you got that right, very, very good. Let me give you a check mark. And now let's go ahead and see if you can go ahead and uh, just follow the same pattern here. I have t squared minus 36. So what are, what's going to be the factors? Well, I have t squared. I just want t. Okay, so remember, this is like our a squared. Here I want a. Okay, so that's just going to be the square root of this. So that'll be t plus... This right here is like our b squared. I just want b. So it's going to be the square root of this. So 36, the square root of 36 is 6. So this would be t plus 6. That's a plus b. And so this would be t minus 6. That would be our a minus b. Okay, so if you are like, okay, I get this. Well, you know, very, very good. So we got that one right. That's excellent. And uh, let's go down here. And take a look at uh, two more examples. Now, here is the example that I had originally. And uh, so what do we do with this one? Well, this one is uh, uh, basically the same thing, okay? But this right here might throw some of you off. So this, is, this whole thing here is like our A squared, okay? This whole thing, of course, is like our B squared. So I want to know what A is. So I have to take the square root of this whole term, so 4y squared, when I take the square root of that, that's going to be 2y, okay? And then, of course, the square root of 25 will be 5. We're only talking about the principal square root or the positive version, okay? So now we can kind of put this together. I want a plus b, okay, a plus b down here. So this is like my a and this is my b, okay? So this would be 2y plus 5 times 2y minus 5, okay? So this is our a plus b times a minus b, okay? Again, this whole thing is like our a squared, so to get the term, our a term, just take the square root of this entire thing. So the square root of, again, 4y squared is 2y, and the square root of 25 is 5. This is our a, this is our b, and then we just go ahead and plug in to the respective um, formula, 
to get our factors uh, for this uh, 4y squared minus 25. So if you got that right, and you knew that even before my explanation, then very, very good. Okay, nice job. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this last problem. Okay, so here, what can we do with this? Well, let's just notice, I got something squared right here. Okay, I'm like, okay, I got something squared, but you're looking at this minus another number. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, I can't do anything with this. Well, not so quick, okay? All right, so this we want to think of as our a squared, and this is our b squared. So to get our a, we're going to take, we're going to take the square root of 9m squared, which, of course, is going to be what? 3m. But to get our b, you might be saying, well, I can't take the square root of 7. Well, of course you can. We'll just write it as the square root of 7. Okay, so we'll just write the answer as the square root of 7. So let's go ahead and uh, follow the pattern. A plus B uh, times A minus B. Okay, this is going to be our A and this will be our B. Okay, so this is A and this is B. So this would be 3M plus the square root of 7 times 3M. I could do a little bit better than that. Hold on. Uh, 3m minus the square root of 7. Okay, so these are the factors. So uh, you're not going to always have like a perfect square like 25 or 36 or, you know, uh, 100 or something like that. So you can even write these factors like this. So this is another kind of a uh, um, type of problem that you're going to see. And there's even more uh, different type of more um, different type of more sophisticated problems, you're going to see the difference of two squares, but we're going to kind of hold it up right here because I don't want to overwhelm you. But uh, if you get this rule so far, well, then that's excellent. Okay. Remember, remember in factoring, there's a lot you need to know, and you're going to have to continue to practice more problems with the difference of two squares. So I have additional videos on my YouTube, um, uh, YouTube playlist, but if you really, really want to learn this stuff, I would recommend recommend one of my algebra courses. But remember, factoring is so, so important. There's so much to learn. You literally cannot do algebra, okay, uh, if you don't know how to factor, right? Uh, like I would say two-thirds of an algebra course requires your ability to factor. And then as you proceed on in algebra two and more advanced mathematics, you just are factoring continuously. So you got to learn that skill. And just like any skill, like playing basketball or something like that, you know, let's say you're new at basketball and you, and you had the basketball and you threw it and you're like, hey, look it, I made a basket. Yay, I did it one time, okay? Would you be absolutely certain that every single time you would make the basket? No, you have to practice, right? Maybe after 10 shots, you only make half of uh, the baskets, right? It's the same thing with math, okay? Just don't do one problem right and be like, oh, I must know this 100% perfect. You need a variety of problems. You need to be challenged because math is a skill, okay? So make sure you follow through and practice, okay? All right, but if this little video helped you out, go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, basic uh, math to advanced math by calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. But uh, my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.